Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a Valentine's Day themed bumblebee. This guy is much bigger than the one that I do have on my channel, so I did change up the wings because he's so much larger, and I also added the antennas, but if you know how to make that bee, this one is pretty much the same concept. You will have to do the magic circle for the face and the wings here, but you can do the alternative where you chain two and single crochet six into the first stitch, but I will be showing the magic circle for this because I do prefer how that looks. I also have two right here but it's a little bit hard to show on camera because they're so large well it's not as big as the one that people make on tiktok but i am making this for the hospice so this size is um, much better for our patients but i'm so excited for this and if you're interested in making one of these i'll let you know what you'll need in the next couple of clips i will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook yellow pink and white yarn these are all a weight of four acrylic yarn a threading needle for yarn and 10 millimeter safety eyes red felt for the heart but you can choose any color you like scissors black embroidery thread if you don't have that you can also use black yarn and a hot glue gun and lastly we will need a stitch marker and some stuffing to begin let's take our yellow yarn and we're going to start off with a magic circle so i just like to take my yarn and wrap it around three fingers to create this x then i like to take my crochet hook go inside the circle and grab this front yarn and pull it in and then twist it up. So now I have this loop on my hook. I'm going to go under this yarn right here and pull it through. And now I have a loop on my hook. I'm just going to let go to show you the magic circle. So here is my magic circle. And then you can just tighten it up by pulling on the yarn and now we can single crochet six times into the circle. When we crochet into our circle, we also have to work around this yarn so we can tighten this later. So I'll show you how to do a single crochet into the circle. So let's go into our circle and grab this yarn and pull it through. And you can see I'm working around the circle and this yarn as well. So I now have two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops that is a single crochet and i'll demonstrate that two more times so i'm going to take my hook go inside the circle grabbing this yarn and pulling it through there's two loops on the hook i'm yarning over and pulling through both again this is a single crochet we have to do a total of six but i will demonstrate that one more time slowly so i'm taking my crochet hook going inside my circle grabbing this yarn pulling it through, two loops on my hook, I'm yarning over, pulling through both. So now to tighten up the circle, I'm just going to show you now, but you don't have to do it yet. You can just pull on this and it makes the circle smaller. I do like working in two tighter spaces because I feel like it's easier for me, but if you prefer to make it larger and then tighten at the end, that's totally fine. But now I'm just going to single crochet three more times to make it a total of six in this round. Once you have six single crochets into your circle, take this yarn and pull on it so we can close up our circle. And then you can take your stitch marker and place it into the last stitch because you are now done with round one. For round two, we're going to increase into every stitch. So let's just go straight into our first stitch and we're increasing with single crochets. So let's just go into your first stitch, grab some yarn, pull it through, we have two loops on our hook. Let's yarn over and pull through both. So that was one single crochet. I need to do one more in the same stitch. So going into that same stitch, pulling this yarn through, two loops on my hook, yarning over, pulling through both. And that is an increase into the first stitch. And we just have to keep repeating that all the way through until we end up with 12 stitches total. And it will demonstrate one more time. So let's go into our next stitch, going in, pulling this yarn through, two loops on my hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So that was one. I need to do another one into the same stitch. So just going in, pulling this yarn through, two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So now I'm just going to repeat that all the way until I get to my stitch marker and I'll do my last increase into the stitch. I made it back to my stitch marker, so I'll just remove that. And I'm going to do my last increase into the stitch. And once I do my last increase, 
I can take my stitch marker and place it into that last stitch and I am now done with round two and I have my 12 stitches total in this round. Round three we're going to increase into the first stitch. So here's my first stitch just going in for an increase which is what we did in that last round. So I'm just doing a single crochet and I'm going to do another one into the same stitch because that's an increase. Now into the next stitch I'm just going to do one single crochet. So going into that next stitch doing my single crochet and now I have to repeat those two steps all the way through until I get 18 stitches in total and I will demonstrate one more time so going into my next stitch going in with an increase so I just did one doing one more into the same stitch there's my increase now into the next stitch to repeat that I have to do one single crochet so I'm repeating the two steps I just previously showed you and now I have to repeat that all the way through until I get 18 stitches total. Remember, it's an increase, then a single crochet. And if you repeat that all the way through, you will end up with a single crochet at your stitch marker. So I'll just repeat that until I get to my stitch marker. I made it to my stitch marker so I'll just remove that and do my last single crochet and this is the last time I'll show you the stitch marker part because it's going to be the same from now on. We're just going to do a single crochet every time we reach there. But that is the end of round 3 and you have 18 stitches in total. Round 4, let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So going into my first stitch, just doing our normal increases. So that was one single crochet, I'm doing another one into the same stitch. Oops, I split, let me fix that. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two stitches. So just one single crochet into each of those. So that was one, going into my next stitch for one more single crochet. And now I have to repeat those three steps all the way through until I get to 24 stitches in total in this round, and I will demonstrate again. So going into my next stitch, I'm going in with an increase, so that was one, two, into the same stitch. Now going into the next one, two stitches, I'm just doing one single crochet into each of those. So that was one, going into the next one for another. And now I'm just going to repeat this all the way through until I get to 24 stitches in total. Round five, let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So here's my first stitch. I'm just going in with one and my second one, my second single crochet into that first stitch because that's an increase. Now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. So in each of those, let's do one single crochet. Now I have to repeat those four steps all the way through until I get 30 stitches in total. Let me demonstrate that one more time. So going into my next stitch, I'm going to go with an increase. So that's one, two single crochets into the same stitch. Now I'm single crocheting into the next one, two, three stitches. Just one single crochet in each of those. Now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through until I get my 30 stitches. This is what it currently looks like and now for round 6 we're just going to single crochet into each one of these stitches so no changes you're still going to end up with 30 stitches in total for round 6 so I will finish this off camera because they're just normal single crochets. Round 7 is our last increasing round, so let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. So here's my first stitch, I'm just going in for my first single crochet and my second into the same stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. So just one single crochet into each of those. So that was my second, here's my third and my fourth. So I have to repeat those five steps all the way through until I get 36 stitches in total and I will demonstrate that one more time. So going into my next stitch, let's start off with an increase. 
So that was one and two into the same stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. So again, that's just one single crochet into each of those. So that was four. And now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through until I get 36 stitches in total. Once you finish round 7, this is what it should look like, and we have our 36 stitches in total. For rounds 8 and 9, you're just going to single crochet those rounds, and I will finish that off camera because I don't want the video to be too long since I have a couple more things to show you guys. But after those two rounds, I'll be back to show you how to color change with the pink. Just finished rounds 8 and 9, so now I'm going to show you how I color change. So you can see that I removed my stitch marker, so that's my last stitch. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off this yarn. Now I'm going to leave a little bit because I need to end off this closure. So I'm just gonna cut off this much right here. It doesn't need to be too, too long. But after you cut that off, you want to grab your threading needle. And what we're going to do here is let's just remove the yarn. So let's just pull it out, straight out. And now we're going to take our threading needle. You just want to take your yarn and push it through. And we're going to end this off by going into your next stitch. So this is where we just remove the yarn. Now we're going into this stitch right here and we're just going to push our needle straight through that stitch. So you can see it straight through the stitch. Pull it straight out. Now we're on the other side. So next what we're going to do, so you can see this is where it's connected to this stitch and now this stitch. You want to take your threading needle, you want to go into the stitch where this yarn currently is. Well, you can see it's going through. Let's just go back to this first stitch, push it through. So go in the middle and push it out through the back. So let me show that again. Okay, so there's the stitch. We're going into the middle of it, out to the back. Push it straight out. And you can see this looks like a stitch, but I'm just going to pull it really tight so it kind of goes away because that does not count as a stitch i repeat it does not count as a stitch so we're not going to go into that but right now we currently have our 36 stitches still you do not count the thing we just did i pulled it really tight so now you can't really see it but i know you guys might get confused because sometimes i get confused as well because it does get a little bit loose and you can kind of start to see it but right now let's take our pink yarn i have my pink yarn I'm going to go into this this last stitch that I made. So that last single crochet you did in the previous round. Just going to insert my hook through and then I'm going to take my pink yarn and I'm just going to pull it through. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. And then to make this one secure with this yarn, I'm just going to tie it together. You don't have to do that, but sometimes I feel like tying it together, sometimes I don't. So I'm just going to tie it with one knot, and that's how I attach my pink yarn. And then we're going to start single crocheting. So you don't need to put a stitch marker in yet, but you can just take your hook now and go into the stitch where you just did your knot. And you're going to pull your yarn through. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So you see this thing right here that looks like a stitch? You're not single crocheting into that, you're actually going into the next one after it. So I'm going into this stitch right here and I'm doing one single crochet. So there's my two loops, I'm yarning over and pulling straight out. So now, if you're confused on what stitch to go into, all you have to do is count how many stitches you have in this round. It should end up with a total of 36. So if you are you have 37 and you're going over, it's because you went into the wrong stitch. Now for your last stitch, you're going to single crochet into where you tied your knot. So you can see where this pink yarn is, where it starts. I'm single crocheting into that to make it 36 because I didn't single crochet into this. This is where I attached the yarn. I single crocheted into this one. I hope that made sense. I'll, actually, I'll just take it out and show you again. Okay, so I'm going to take this out just to show you again. So this is where I attached my yarn. That's where I'm single crocheting my last single crochet. But what I did first was I'm taking my hook, going into the stitch, grabbing this yarn through. And then what I did was I single crocheted into this next stitch, which is technically the first stitch. So this one here. 
and I'm doing a single crochet. So that single crochet was for this stitch. This one right here is where I attach the yarn and that's where I'm going to single my last single crochet. So now for this whole row, you're just single crocheting. So I'm just going to single crochet until I get back to that first stitch and then I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I made it back to where I originally tied the knot. So I currently have 35 stitches total, but I need 36. So I'm single crocheting into where I tied the knot, which is this one right here. So just going into this last one and I'm doing my last single crochet. So now that I have 36, I can take my stitch marker, place it into that last stitch. That was round 10. So now for round 11 and 12, you're just going to single crochet because we need to create the length for the pink. And I'm just going to show you how to start at the beginning of this one because it might be confusing or it might look a little bit weird. So this is the first stitch. I know it looks, it might look a little bit off, but you're just going to go into that first one and just do your normal single crochet. And if you have another way to color change, you can go ahead and do that. I know this one might be a little bit confusing, but, um, I don't know, I kind of like how it looks. So that's how I've been color changing lately. But if you have any other methods, you can let me know in the comments because I like trying out new methods to see what works best for me. I feel like this one you can kind of see, um, like it's not like seamless, but I feel like it still looks decent. Okay, so I'm just going to finish rounds 11 and 12 off camera. Remember, they're just going to be single crochet rows. So it's just two more rows of single crochets and I'll be back. After finishing two additional rows of the pink, this is what it looks like. So for my pattern, I did do two stripes here and this pink and this part of the yellow, they're all the same size. So I did do three rows total for each. If you want to change it up, you can go ahead and do that. Add some more pink if you like, but I'm now going to do my color change back to the yellow. So you can see I have my stitch marker here. I'm just going to remove it so I can cut off this pink yarn. Remember, we're color changing the same way. So leave enough yarn so you can finish your last closure for this color change let's just take out our yarn just pull it straight out now let's take our threading needle insert your yarn through okay so here is our last stitch that we did we're going into this next stitch right after it you're just going to insert your needle straight through so you can see it straight through the stitch and i'm going to pull it out while I'm pulling it back into the side. And now I'm going back to this first stitch or where I ended off. And I'm gonna go straight into the middle of the stitch, push it in, out towards the back. So you can see it's straight in the middle of that stitch, just pulling it straight out. And you can see it looks like a stitch right there, but I want to tighten it so I can kind of remove that stitch so I, I don't add an additional stitch. If I didn't tighten it, it's going to look like a stitch and I'll have 37 total, but I still want only my total of 36. So this is what it looks like. Now let me grab my yellow yarn. I have my yellow yarn. I'm just going to insert it back into my last stitch. So this one here, I'm taking my yarn and I'm going to just pull it through that uh, stitch. It doesn't split on me. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just going to tie my knot. So there's my little knot, just tying it. And then I'm going to tie it to the pink yarn just so I can make it secure. And now we can just start single crocheting. So where the knot is, let's insert our hook straight through. And then you're going to grab your yellow yarn through that stitch. And now we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, which remember is this one here, not this little thing right there. It kind of looks like a stitch, but you don't want to go into that. You want to go into this last stitch or the first stitch, I mean. So let's go straight through and we're doing single crochets. Remember, you should end up with a total of 36 stitches. So for this yellow, we're just going to do three rows total, and that means it's going to be rounds 13 to round 15 pure single crochets. So there's no increases, just all single crochets. And then I'll be back after I finish. Actually, I'll be back to show you how to, start, um, to end this off, just in case it's confusing.
Alrighty, and towards the end of this round, I have 35 stitches right now. So to do my last single crochet, I have to go into this stitch here, which is where I originally tied my knot. So I'm just going into this stitch to do 36 single crochets total. I'll take my stitch marker, place it into that last stitch, and I'm now done with round 13. For rounds 14 and 15, you're just single crocheting because we have to create our yellow now, our yellow length. So let's just go in and start doing single crochets. I will be doing these two rows off camera because, um, again, like storage space and I don't want this video to be too long. So again, I'll just go ahead and do these two rows off camera. This is row 14 and 15 that we're doing now. Just finished my yellow rows. So now I'm going back to my pink and this is our last color change for the pink if you're following this exact pattern. But um, for this shade of pink, I'm going to be using a different color because I just have a little bit left so I'm trying to get rid of it. But for this one, it's going to be the same color change. So I already cut off my yarn. And I'm just going to remove this last stitch. Let me remove this. And then what we're going to do now, after you remove your stitch marker, let's just take our yarn and pull it out. And then let's take our threading needle. So it's the same technique. We're just going to go. So here is our last stitch. We're going into the next one. Just putting your needle straight through. Pull it out. And now going back to that first stitch where it originally was, you're going to go straight into the middle of it and push it out through the back. And then I'm just going to pull it tight. And now I'm going to take my pink yarn. I have my pink yarn. I'm now just going to take my crochet hook, insert it into a stitch. And let's grab this yarn. Pull it through and then let's tie our knot and then I'll connect it to my yellow yarn with another knot just one knot you can do two if you like but I think one is fine and now let's start single crocheting okay so where you tied your knot just take your crochet hook and go into that same stitch Pull this yarn through and then remember this is where we did that closure you don't go into that you actually go into the stitch right here and you do your single crochet and remember oops i think i grabbed some excess yarn from this one okay let me redo that so taking my hook through that knot stitch going into this stitch for my first single crochet okay there we go so remember this is where you're going to do your last single crochet where you tied your knot so now i'm just going to single crochet until i make it back to the beginning and then i'll show you how i end it off i made it back to where i originally tied my knot which is this stitch right here so i'm doing my last single crochet making that 36 stitches in total so remember this whole thing right here is all the same number of stitches because we're not changing anything we're just single crocheting with different colors so now i'm just taking my stitch marker placing it into that last stitch and now we have to do two more rows with this pink so just going into this first stitch for a single crochet and i will finish these off camera but these are going to be rows 17 and 18 so row 17 and 18 let's just do our two rows so we can make our pink strip finish my last pink row so now i'm going to remove my stitch marker so we can color change so i'm just going to remove my yarn Oops. and then i'm going to take my threading needle I'm just going to take my yarn into the threading needle oh my god tyco now I'm just going to take my yarn and I'll insert it into this next stitch straight through, pull it out, and then I'm going back to that first stitch and I'm going straight through the middle out to the back. And there you have that stitch, but we want to pull it tight so we can remove it. And then now we can attach our yellow yarn. I'm just going back to that first stitch, inserting my hook so I can take my yarn through and I'll tie my knot and then I'll tie my yellow to the pink. Now 
Now I'm just going to go into that stitch where I tied the yellow. I'm going to grab this yarn and pull it through. And now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. Remember, don't get confused which stitch you're going into. We're going into this one here so you don't go into that little one there that we pulled tightly to remove. So I'm just going to go in this stitch and now I'm going to single crochet. So we're going to do about four rows. So it's going to be row 19 to 22. And you're just going to do single crochet rows, which means you're going to end up with 36 stitches in each of those rows because you're only single crocheting. So I'll be back after I finish my four rows. I'm back because I wanted to show you the end of this just in case anybody forgot. You are single crocheting into this stitch right here, which is where you attach the yellow yarn. And also one more thing before I go off camera, actually, let me just do the single crochet and then I'll put my stitch marker in. For, this is row 19 so we're not going to be putting in the eyes until um, we close this up because we are going to be using the hot glue to glue them on I find that I place the eyes better that way um, if you want to put the backing on them you can insert the eyes now but then I feel like it's gonna be probably a little bit harder because it might look different once you stuff it but in case you're wondering why I haven't inserted the um, face yet that is why I'm going to do that after I finish closing this up so anyways now I'm going to be back after I finish rows um, up to 20 two now so I'm gonna do three more rows that I finish rows 19 to 22 of this yellow rounds we're gonna start doing our decreases so for round 23 let's start off with an invisible decrease now if you watch my older videos you know that I used to do the invisible decrease a different way because that's how I was taught but now I'm going to show you a new way that I learned that I feel like it looks a little bit better so what we're going to do is let's go into our first stitch but we're only going into the front loop only so what that means is let's just go into this stitch right here this first one I'm going to push it through into the middle of the stitch so just like that that's the front loop and then now what I'm going to do so I have two loops on my hook I'm going to go straight into the next stitch and I'll do the same exact thing so it might be a little bit difficult to maneuver around but all you have to do is just push down your hook a bit go into your next stitch into the front loop only so let's poke it through the middle of that stitch and now we have three loops on the hook so what we're going to do now is yarn over pull through the first one, two loops. Now we have two loops left on our hook, so let's yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that was an invisible decrease. Now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one single crochet into each one of those. Now we're going to repeat those five steps all the way through until we end up with 30 stitches in total and I will repeat those steps one more time. So going into these two stitches right here we're going to do our invisible decrease. So let's go into our first stitch, this first one into the front loop only and we're pushing it through to the middle. Then you're going to do the same exact thing to the next stitch so just push your hook down just a bit and we're going into the front loop only now we have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over, pull through the first two loops. We have two loops left on the hook, so let's now yarn over and pull through the last two. So that was an invisible decrease, and now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four stitches. Also, if you can see glitter on my hand, it's because I was just spray painting. Literally, while doing this video, I went to Home Depot, took my dog out for a walk, then I spray painted a bench, and then I came back to this video. But anyways, now I'm just going to repeat those steps all the way through. So I'm just going to do my invisible decrease again, and then single crochet into the next four. And once I'm done with this round, I'll end up with 30 stitches, and this is round 23. So I'll be back once I'm finished with this round. Okay, so I just finished my decreasing round and I also stuffed my bee. So you can go ahead and stuff yours. I also used some of my excess yarn that I had from a different project to stuff this guy up. And now I'm going to move on to round 24. So round 24, we're doing another decreasing round. So let's first start off with an invisible decrease. So we're going into our first two stitches here and we're going into the front loop only. So I just poke my hook through the middle and I'm into the front loop of that one. Now I'm going into my next stitch and I'm doing the same exact thing. So I'm just going to push my hook down a bit and push it up. 
and then now I'm going to take my yarn, pull it through the first one, two loops. I have two loops left on the hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through both. So next I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. And these are just normal single crochets. So there goes one, two, three. So now you have to repeat those four steps all the way through until you get 24 stitches in total. And I will demonstrate one more time. So going into these next two stitches here, we're going to start off with an invisible decrease. So let's go into our front loop only, poking it through the middle, bending the hook down to go into the next one to do the same exact thing. Push it through the middle. I have three loops on the hook I want to yarn over. Pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three stitches. And then I'll just repeat this process all the way through until I get 24 stitches in total in round 24. For round 25 and this point forward, they're just all decreasing rounds. So let's go in for an invisible decrease into the first stitch. So these two right here, well, the first two stitches. And we're just going into the front loop only. So let's take our hook, go through the front, bend the hook down, do the same thing to the next stitch. We have our three loops on the hook. We're yarning over, pulling through the first one, two, two loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through those last two. Now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two stitches. So that was one, going into the next stitch. Now you have to repeat those three steps until you get 18 stitches total. I feel like my mind is going everywhere. Okay, so um, now let's do, I'll show that one more time. Let's go into our next two stitches for an invisible decrease. Okay, so let's just go through the front loop only. Then you bend the hook down to do the same thing to the next stitch, to the front loop. We have our two loops, I mean our three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the first two. That's one, two. We have two loops left, let's yarn over and pull through the last two. Now let's single crochet into the next one, two stitches. And then I'm just going to repeat this all the way through until I get 18 stitches in total for round 25. For round 26, we're starting off the seam. Let's do our invisible decrease. So we're going into the front loop only. Here's my first stitch, inserting my hook through, bending it down to do the same thing to the next stitch into the middle. We have three loops on the hook. I'm yarning over, pulling through the first two loops. Then I'll yarn over, pull through the last two. And then now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So just this one here. And then you have to repeat those two steps all the way through until you get 12 stitches total. And I will, de um, I will demonstrate one more time. <laughs> I was going to say decrease, but we are decreasing. So these two stitches right here, we're just going into the front loop only. And then I'm yarning over, pulling through the first two, yarning over, pulling through the last two. And then I will just keep repeating this until I get 12 stitches in total. After that last decreasing round, you can now stuff your bee because after this one that we're going to do, this bee is going to be fully closed. So we'll go ahead and stuff it. And after you do that, we're going to move on to round 27. Round 27, which is also our last round, we're just going to decrease this entire round. Well, only five times, but we're also going to be doing a normal decrease because I feel like the space is just so small. A normal decrease is fine. So for a normal one, we're just going through the entire stitch. So let's work with these two stitches here. So let's go into our first stitch and just insert your hook through and grab this yarn and now we have two loops on our hook you're going to do the same thing to the next stitch over so here's my next stitch over i'm just going to go in grabbing this yarn and pulling it through i have three loops on my hook now i'm just going to yarn over and to pull through all three loops so that's just a normal decrease and i have to do that four more times so i'll demonstrate again here is my next two stitches i'm just going to go in to the entire stitch, grabbing this yarn, pulling it through. There's a two loops on my hook, going into the stitch right after, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Take my hook, go through, grab this yarn, and pull it through. I have three loops left on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. 
All you have to do is just repeat that two more times and then I'll show you how I weave in the ends. So I just have one left. So this is what the opening currently looks like and if you feel like you want to do one more decrease you can go ahead and do that feel free to do another one but i'm actually going to stop here and then i'm just going to cut off some excess yarn so about this much so i can weave in the ends so this is what it looks like now i'm just going to pull this yarn out and from mine, I'm going to actually use my crochet hook. So what I'm going to do, so you can see this is where I ended off. Now I'm just going to go into the stitch right after that, and I'm going to insert my hook through. And then I'm going to take this yarn and pull it through. And then I'm just going to do that all the way around. So here's my next stitch. I'm going in, grabbing this yarn, and pulling it through. So let me show that one more time. Here is the next stitch over, pushing my hook through, through this stitch right here. Then I'm taking this yarn and pulling it through. Okay, so once you made it all the way around, you can now just take the yarn and pull it. And then it should close it right up. If you still have a bit of an opening, you probably could have done another decrease. But for me, I've made like five of these already and they all closed up fine with me doing just five decreases but um, if you make it again and you want to do another decrease that's totally fine as well um, now i'm just going to weave or i mean secure this close so all i did was just insert my hook into the next stitch or any stitch that you find that's closest then you're going to take this yarn and pull it through but don't pull it all the way so you see this loop here you're just going to take this yarn and pull it through that loop and then i'm going to go from this side and do the same thing so there's my loop, taking this yarn and pushing it through. And then now I'm just going to push this yarn back in. So I'm going to take some scissors and just, you can take the back of your hook, but this is a little bit too wide. So I'm going to just use my scissors and push this yarn back in. So that's what the bottom looks like. So now for the front, let's put on the face. Let's um, take our 10 millimeter safety eyes and just place them where you like them to go. We're not gluing on the eyes just yet, I just wanted to have it placed in because we're going to put on the mouth. So for the mouth, take your threading um, threading needle and thread or black yarn, and we're going to insert our needle into, well, you want to determine where you want your mouth, so I feel like I want mine to go from here to here, so where this thumb is. So what I'm going to do is just take my threading needle and push it in, and I'm going to meet it where my thumb is. So if I can push it through. And then I'm just going to pull through. Don't pull all the way because you don't want it to fully come out. Oops. Okay. So now that I have it through, what I'm going to do next... If I can get this. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to insert it back into where I originally placed my threading needle. So this one right here. And I'm going to go out from this one. So I'm going to push in and go out from this middle. So this is the middle or the bottom of the mouth and I'm just going to push through making sure my thread doesn't come out. Okay so now I'm just going to push back in and I'm gonna go out from this guy right here so back to this side. If I can push through the right stitch okay there it goes and pulling through and there is the mouth now that we have the thread on each side what i'm going to do next is from this side i just inserted the thread ready i'm just now going to push it into this side of the mouth and i'm just going to push it all the way into the body out to this side i'm literally just going to any stitch and pulling out and then i'll do the same thing with this one Now that I have the thread through this one, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going back down in this part of the mouth and I'll push it out throughout the stitch. Now with this thread right here, you can either stuff it in or cut it off. I'm going to be lazy today and I'm just going to cut it off. And then I'll just push that tiny knob back in.
I'm going to make the heart with my red felt so I'm just going to fold it in half and I don't draw or anything on it because I feel like it's not it's not too serious for me so i'm just going to take it, my felt and fold it in half and then i'm just going to start from this side and i'm going to curve upwards i'm assuming most people know how to make a heart ready so i feel like i don't really have to explain too much but i'm just going around and then i'm going to go back down and then if it looks ugly i just fix it up afterwards so let's see what it looks like oh it's ugly okay so i'm just going to fix that up now just make the edges a little bit rounder okay there we have a heart i feel like it could look better but that's what i'm doing for now now we're going to make our antenna and i have one here i have one in the other shade of pink because i did the two different colored stripes so i'm going to take the other shade now and we're going to start off with a slip knot so for a slip knot what i like to do is take my yarn and i hold it in half just like this now i'm going to twist my yarn so i'm just going to grab it with this hand and twist it now with this loop here i'm just going to go through and grab this yarn pull it straight through the loop that is my slip knot. Now I'm just going to take my hook, insert it into the loop, and tighten it down. So now we're going to chain seven. So a chain is yarning over and pulling through. That was one chain. So now I'm going to do that for six more times. I'm going to yarn over, pull through. So that was two, three, four, five, and six we want to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook so this is the first one it's closest to the hook and this is the second one a slip stitch is let's go into our second one insert your hook through and then we're going to pull the yarn through that um stitch or that chain and then also through the loop so just hold on it the bottom and then just pull straight through so that's a slip stitch. Now you're going to single crochet all the way back down. So let's just take our hook, go through your next chain, grab this yarn, pull it through. There's two loops on the hook, we're yarning over and pulling through both. So by now we know what a single crochet is, so I'm just going to speed this part up and um, I'll be done with the antenna. This part is pretty easy because we aren't um, doing too many steps, but I'm just going to single crochet back down. And then once I make it all the way to the end, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off some excess yarn, probably about this length right here. So let me grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut it. And then what I'm going to do next is with this loop here, I'm just going to insert this yarn, put it through, through that loop and then just pull on it. And that's one way to tighten it. And now I have an antenna. So you can go ahead and make another one so you can have two. And then next we're going to move on to the wings. With our white yarn, we're going to create a magic circle. So it's going to be similar to the beginning of this video. You just want to take your yarn and wrap it around three fingers to create this X. Then we're going to take our crochet hook and go inside the circle, grab this front yarn and pull it through. We'll twist it up and now we have a loop on our hook. Now we're going to go under and grab this yarn and pull it through. And there's our magic circle. Now we're going to single crochet six times into our circle. So let's go inside the circle, grab this yarn and pull it through. We have two loops on our hook. Let's yarn over and pull through both of the loops. And you need a total of six, so I'll do that five more times. Let's go inside the circle, grab this yarn and pull it through. Two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. And now I'm just going to speed the rest of this up until I get six single crochets total. Once you have your six single crochets in the magic circle, just take your yarn, pull on it, and then you can grab your stitch marker and you're done with round one. For round two, you're going to increase into every stitch, so let's go into our first stitch. There's my first single crochet and my second. Now you just have to repeat that all the way through until you end up with 12 stitches total and around two. So just an increase into every stitch. For round three, we're going to increase into the first stitch. So that was one and two. 
two into the seam stitch. Into the next stitch, we're just going to do one single crochet. And then you have to repeat those two steps all the way through and take it 18 stitches total. So again, I'm just going in with an increase into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the next one. And then I'll just repeat this until I get my 18. For rounds four and five, you're just going to single crochet those rows because we're just creating the length of the wings. So I'll do that off camera because they're just normal single crochets, which means you'll still end up with 18 stitches total for each of those rounds. After you finish rounds four and five, this is what it should start to look like. It curves down just a bit. So now we're going to move on to round six, which is our decreasing round. And we're going to start off with an invisible decrease. We're going to be working with these two stitches and we're going into the front loop only. So I'm just going to go in to the front, bend my hook down, and go into the next stitch to the front loop only. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through the first one, two, you have two loops left, yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. Now you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then you want to repeat those two steps all the way through until you end up with 12 stitches total. So I'll show the decrease again. So going into the next two stitches, I'm just going into the front loop only, bending the hook down, going into the front loop of the next stitch, yarning over, pulling through the first one, two stitches, yarn over, pull through the last two, and then I'll single crochet into the next stitch, and then I'll repeat this until I get 12 stitches total in this round. For round seven, we're just going to decrease four times. So I already removed my stitch marker because this is the last round, but I'm going into these next two stitches and I'm still doing the invisible decrease. So just going into the front loop only, two loops on, or three loops on my hook, I'm yarning over, pulling through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So I just did that once, I'll do that three more times. So a total of four decreases in this round. And this round is round seven. Once you finish round seven, you can just remove your crochet hook and then we're going to cut off some yarn. You have to leave some excess because we are going to sew this on to the B. And then you can now just pull out your yarn and then fold this down. And now you have one wing, so you need to create another one and then we can sew this on to the B. Now we're going to attach on the wings and the antennas. So I did lose my footage and I am refilming this, so that's why I do have these already attached. But I'll show you how I attach on this wing. I'm just going to take my threading needle and the yarn that we cut off earlier. I'll put it into the threading needle. And then I'm just going to line it up against this dark pink and this lighter pink. And I kind of want it a little bit closer to the middle. The other ones I do have are further apart, but I actually did this one too close, so that's why I'm going to do it a little bit closer together. But if you want it further apart, that's fine as well. So the way that I attach this is I'm going to go into this pink from this stitch out to the next one. So it looks just like that. And then I'm just going to push through. And then from the back side, I'm just going to take my threading needle and push back in out to the front. Then I'll just repeat that all the way through until I get to this pink. So to show you again, I'm just gonna go through this stitch, out through the next. And then I'm going to push from the back of the wing to the front. And then I think I'll just show it one more time. So going into this next stitch, I'm just going to pull straight out. And then again, going from the back of the wing out to the front. 
I think I'll just show this entire wing. So I'm close to my last one. Again, and just pushing out and then going to the back of this wing, out to the front. And I want to end off at this pink right here. So where the pink first starts, but this time I'm not going to push all the way out. I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to hold on to this piece. So you can see I have this loop here. This is how we're going to secure it. You're going to take this threading needle and go through this loop. And just pull straight out. And then you can do that again to make it more secure. So I'll show that one more time. This time to make it secure, I'm just going to go into the stitch. Out to the other side. So let's pull it out, but don't pull all of the yarn. Make sure you have this loop still. So you can see I'm keeping my finger where the loop is. And then I'm going to take this threading needle and go through this loop. And pull straight out. And then now I'm going to take my scissors and stuff this white yarn back in. So that's what the wing looks like once it's attached. Now you can just do the same thing to the other side. But now I'm going to show you the antennas. So again, I did lose the footage, so I have to show this part. This one's already attached, but I took this one out and I'm just going to go into where this yellow row is. You can determine where you want yours if you want it further back or more forward, but I want it into the stitch right here. So let me attach my yarn to my thread or my threading needle. Okay, so I got it into my threading needle. Now I'm just going to... So I want it in this row because I already have this lined up. I'm just going to go from this side of the stitch out to the next. So it's only through one stitch. And then I'm just going to push it out. And then I'm going to take this side of the yarn and then tie a knot. You can do one or two knots. I think I'll do two. I'll do one on this side. So I'll tie another knot. And then I'm just going to stuff the yarn back in with my scissors. And then you can just bend the top just a bit. And there's the antennas. So now I'm going to show you how I put on the blush. So I'm just going to take my pink yarn, again using my threading needle, insert it through. And since I have one on this side, I'm just going to line it up which means it's going to go right here, right under the eye. And again, it's just through one stitch. So you can see my threading needle is just from this side out there. You can do two stitches if you like, but I'm just going to do one. And I'm going to pull it out, but not all the way. So I don't want to pull all this yarn out. Now I'm going to go back from this side and push it into that same starting point out to the other side and pull it out and then um i feel like i'll do that one more time if you want it a little bit thicker you can go in two or three times i think i'm just going to do it twice so again i'm going on this side pushing it through out to the other side and then that's what the blush looks like and then i'm just going to stuff it back in again with my scissors This is what it looks like once the blush is attached. Now I can't re-show you the eyes and this part, but it's just gluing it on again because I lost the video footage and I feel like I'm getting like the worst look because I keep losing my video footage. But basically for this part, you just need to take your hot glue gun, remove the eye. You're going to have a little hole because of the 10 millimeter safety eye was just there. All you have to do is put your hot glue into that section and then place your eyes back on. And then of course, just hot glue that. But once you're done with that, you'll be done with this B. And then the ending of this video i forgot to do the blush so that's why the ending of it doesn't have the blush on it but then i went back to refilm it and then i lost that footage as well so i had to refilm this again but yeah just for the eyes just remember to hot glue it in just take out your eyes put in the hot glue and then you'll be done with that part
Once you've finished gluing everything on, you are now done with your Valentine's Day themed bumblebee. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was more helpful than that first video I made. I didn't expect that many people to watch it because I filmed that so long ago and I posted up pretty late. But um, I hope this one was much more informative and I hope you guys really liked it. I think this is so cute and great for Valentine's Day. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.